how do you guys look so good for some parts of the game and then not look so good for the rest? Like, how does that happen? <coughs> Relaxing. Relax, which is natural, you know, you go up 30, feel like everything's just smooth, and you relax. You give them some, and, and to that type of team, if you relax too much, they give them some open looks. Those guys can make shots. You know, they're they're an offensive-minded team, and they got going. And uh, and then it's then it's a tough battle to kind of bring it back to where we want it. And, uh, and yeah, they played a competitive game, and we just gave them too much life. What do you feel like it's the biggest thing you guys need to take from this one, learn from it. Um. Uh, um, to be honest, not overreacting. You know, I think we did a good job during the game, not overreacting, even though the, you know it's, it was a big contrast in, in what happened in the game. Um, you know, it's 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 the NBA. These kind of things happen, of course. Uh, we just don't want to make this a habit. You know, and it hasn't been a habit for us. Just we slipped one game, and we did relax a little bit, and, and we paid the price. When you get into the one-point game late, you know, the crunch time, final minute there. How do you feel about where you guys are in those situations and, you know, the pace of the offense, the quality of the shots you're getting? I think we, we were pretty decent. Um, I think JT was doing a great job uh, getting some buckets for us. And I think we could have been smarter in a couple of situations on defense. We gave them easy free throws, put them at the line, four free throws, you know. I think they made all four. And, um, and yeah, we, we, we should have made them work to get their buckets more as much as we worked to get ours. And... Um, but I think we were pretty good down the stretch. Maybe some things we can clean up, some a little bit of uh, floor balance, like more spacing. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, you win or you learn. You guys started the game without a point guard out there. Like it was really Jalen and Jason running things instead of like putting paint in there. <coughs> and you got everything you wanted to open the game, especially you just getting these cross matches. So fourth quarter and the game, a lot of stasis and the ball's not really moving. How important are the point guards you guys have on this team for keeping the ball moving in those moments? And what do you feel like you could have done better? Um, I don't know if it's like as much as like moving the ball. I felt like we had like great possessions where it was like textbook, like boom, 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 all five guys touched the ball and Svi hit a corner three on one of them and we had got some open looks. So we were like moving the ball pretty well. Uh, but it's just uh, just says like how valuable D White and Drew is for us, you know, on both ends, and um, and it's not easy to replace those guys. You know, of course we have the talent, and and P has been tremendous in the last I don't know five or seven games. He's been playing incredible level, to be honest. Um, uh, but uh, but of course those guys, you know, we miss those guys, and and we're a completely different animal with those two guys on the team. Not overreacting. How much confidence do you guys have as a group? Because there was no panic. There was no mm. as the comeback was happening that yeah. you guys can just get back to playing softball yeah. basketball. Yeah, maybe too much, a little bit. You know, maybe there, we, we we need to sometimes have a little bit more like emergency, um, emerg or urgency, emergency, urgency. Um, but of course, we're a confident team because what we have shown, and and we expect to win every game and and. As I said, it's just uh, it's a slip up for us, you know, letting this this game uh, slip out of our hands. Uh, but I like that we have some bumps, you know, heading into the postseason. You guys seem pretty relaxed, you know, pretty composed despite what happened. Uh, is that kind of the mood in the locker room after the game? Is it, <coughs> anyone kind of speaking up after that? Or you just kind of realize, you know, what went wrong? Yeah, we knew. I mean, there's like not so much to say, no, like. Can all say, oh yeah, we lost it in the end of second quarter. Like somebody could say it, but you know, we all know it anyway. You know, uh, that's that's when we started to like loosen up a little bit and it just carried on and into the third. And and I think we we, we did like tur start turning it up and um, as, as the game was like getting closer, of course. But still, they're a, they're a talented team, and they just made shots and got some transition, got us turn the ball over a little bit and and run away with it. Last nine, nine game win streak is snapped, but in those nine games, you guys didn't start a game with the same roster, the starting lineup the entire time. I mean, yeah. how crazy is that? That Did is crazy. Yeah, that is that? crazy. Um, that's the uh, gift we have as a team. You know, we have so many guys that can step up and play and play big minutes and play take a bigger role. Um, that it's uh, it's pretty cool, and 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 we're also like trying out like different things on the floor. You know, 
maybe like a, a fan that's watching the game doesn't see it, but but we experiment a lot. You know, we do different things, different coverages, different this, like what could work, uh, and that's like uh, Joe's uh, Joe's touch on the game. You know, and and uh, and it's really cool because I think we're like opening like new doors and trying out new things that that could help us in the long run. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.